Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Silent Hill 2 Remake. Last time we were, we started off the, the episode on the other side of the uh, Woodside Apartments and the Blue Creek Apartments. Made our way through it, uh, got through the clock puzzle, and finally had a one-on-one -on -one fight with uh, Pyramid Head, where uh, we died for the first time. Um, and, uh, again, I wouldn't really call it a fight. It was more of a scare than anything because he eventually left on his own. Uh, once a siren started blaring, like, a, an air horn. Actually, sorry, not an air horn. Uh, air siren is what I meant to say, like, uh, evacuation sirens that you would hear. Um, and he just left. And once we exited the apartment, we came out back into Silent Hill, the west side of Silent Hill. And we are a stone's throw from these the Rosewater Park, where uh, James believes he was a special place with Mary. So who knows what we'll find over there? Let's uh, make our way in through, and we're back to petty vandalism, all for a sake of uh, health drinks. How many bullets did we waste, by the way? Oops. I still got a lot. Still got 65 bullets in total. Correction. 68. Are you kidding me? We were out there before. Like two episodes ago. We could have easily just shot the lock and walked out. Ay ay ay. I think we checked in here. This truck. Nah, it's not there. I'm glad people leave bullets and health drinks in their cars. On the pass, on the driver's side, no less. Wow, there's a lot of artifacting on the hair. Hey. It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who stepped on my hand. Hmm. Maybe I did. What's a little girl like you doing here anyway? I don't know. What's a big dum-dum like you doing here anyway? Hey. That's not very nice. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? What you got there? None of your business. You didn't love Mary anyway. What? Hey, wait! Mary? How do you know her name? Forget the name. How do you know Mary? was that girl so that was a girl i don't know if you guys remember a couple of episodes back um we were trying to get this key through like this gated area we were like stretching our arms out like trying to get it the girl stepped on her hand and kicked the key away and she's like ha ha that was her and believe me that is not the last time we will see her Okay, I keep hearing, like, a woman, like, gasp. I don't know if it's something else that sounds like a woman, but kind of throws me off every time. <laughs> Someone left their cocaine stash here. I'll put it to good use.
Okay. Just want to make sure I pick up everything. Welcome to Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. There's no better place than here to let go of your busy schedules and finally enjoy a relaxing vacation. Rows of quaint, rustic houses mark a gorgeous mountain landscape. And as the dawn turns to dusk, the surface of Toluca Lake shines a whole range of dreamlike colors. Silent Hill will move you and fill your heart with peace. We're more than certain your time here will be pleasant and leave you with memories that will stay with you forever. Forever and ever and ever. So we got Pete's Bolorama. It's a great place for everyone to spend uh, something amazing time. They have all kinds of food in their cafeteria, like pizza, burgers, french fries, and drinks. Local bowling clubs looking for new members all the time. Neely's Girls Night every weekend. Happy hour at Neely's Bar every Friday, and that means half price for beer. Neely's have a wide range of top beers you have to check. I mean, Neely's Bar didn't look that big. Just, just saying. Sound Hills Historical Society. Boat Trippany? Experience guide, local knowledge, great experience. Said experience twice, that's not good. He's Italian restaurant. It's never too late for quiet cocktails. 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. An hour? You're only open for an hour? Okay, anyways. This is it. Mary. Could you really be here? Patrick Chester, son of Edward, he fought and died for the people, for liberty and all of our tomorrows. His memory lives on. Cool. Just back here. Let me just check this side real quick. Ah, bullets. Wait, where are you looking here? No, you're not. All right, enough dilly-dallying. Onto Rosewater Park. Can we look at these? Memory of the 67 who died of illness and now sleep beneath the lake. The 67. Yeah, I forgot about this. Uh, I don't know if they died of illness per se. Um, if I remember correctly, we're going to get a note soon of uh, what that what what that's talking about. It has to do with a ferry boat. It's a person. Is that Mary? your girlfriend no my late wife I can't believe it your face your voice you could be my here. name is Maria 
I don't look like a ghost, do I? <laughs> See? Warm. Sorry, I got confused. Hey, where are you going? I need to find Mary. Didn't you say she died? Oh. Yeah, three years ago. It's, it's just, I got a letter from her. A letter? I know how it sounds. I'm, I'm not, I don't. Hey, it's okay. So, what did the letter say? She said she was waiting for me in our special place. And that's here? Anyway, I haven't seen her. Is this your only special place? I, uh... I don't know anymore. something I just I can't quite hey I think I might know I mean there's this one place not far from here what kind of place the kind two lovers might call special I can show you if you want Unless you have somewhere else to be. Something else to do. <laughs> Easy there. I'm just messing with you. Come on. It's this way. You're coming with me? Can't you just tell me where it is? <laughs> You're just gonna leave me here? Alone? With all these monsters around? No, I, I just... Is it because... I remind you of... her? You loved her, didn't you? Didn't you? Alright, just... So it's okay. Yeah. Maria's quite the uh, character, isn't she? And looks just like James's late wife. Uncanny. Meet Maria. Come on, let's go. Okay. She is leading the way. We're getting out of Rosewater. This place we're going to, uh, what is it exactly? It used to be kind of a special place for young couples in these parts. I think it's easier if I just show you. So far from home. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a chair. And there's a handprint on a table. So we went from 11 to 14. I guess I've missed. I've been missing out on a lot of these. Um, is this one? Whoops. Because this one is number one. 
and then it just goes goes to number four so I've been missing I miss like uh, two of them yeah okay that's fine there, there's no way you can do a perfect run on a first playthrough you know what I mean so it's all good Who is that? Just a woman. Killed for no real fault of her own by moral upstanding folk. Common theme, I guess. What do you mean? In history, you know? Victim of persecution by the Christians. That's what it looks like. Jennifer Carroll lived with pride and honor. What happened here shall never be forgotten. Sorry, guys. Uh, again, I'm just kind of looking around. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a bit preoccupied. It's fine. You know, if there's anything you want to talk about, anything at all. No. Let's just keep moving. So me and she. Ooh, can we go in here? No. No, we can not. Can we go in here? Oh, yes, we can. James immediately sees something. Ew. James, you really love sticking your hand in toilets, don't you? Alright, it's GTFO. And we're moving on from Pocky to Oreos. So she said a special place for young couples. Let's see. Jack's in. That's all I could think of. <laughs> there. We can go through the motel. Or what if I don't want to go through the motel? What if I want to cross the street? Not getting through here. No reason to. It's the wrong way anyway. It's the wrong way anyway. Well, what if I want to go this way then? Huh, Maria? What do you say to that? We already passed the motel. Hey, Maria, don't judge me too harshly for this. Whoa! Hey! Why'd you do that? I'm sorry, Maria! James? 
Your wife, what was she like? Or is... Sorry, I'm not... That's fine. Why do you ask? Just curious. I'm not sure I want to talk about it. Oh, come on. You said we look alike. At least give me something. Well, she, uh... She liked to play the piano. I'm not sure if you're really that much alike. Oh? I don't strike you as the pianist type? Let's just leave it. Sure, James. Okay, you know what? Let me... Let's head back. Because I feel like we're going to have to come this way anyway. Um... Actually, I don't know. Well, let's go to Jackson first. Jeez. Stayed in a place like this. The walls are so thin, you can hear everything. Love, hate, jealousy. I bet. If anyone needs anything, I'm fixing the pipes at 107. And how long ago was this? So we need a four digit code. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Excuse me, Mary. Mary, excuse me. Ooh, I like this music. So let's see if we can find... find a way to get it open the Baldwin mansion huh okay oh mm. cozy this room 
There's something wrong with it. I... I think we should leave. Oh, loosen up, James. It sure beats running around with those monsters out there. I'm not so sure. Let's leave. Where's 107? Oh, there's 107 up here. No, this has to be two. Um, I know we've been, like, smashing windows and, like, breaking into rooms. How do you feel about, like, actual destruction of property? Okay, seem cool with it. Feels like we're stuck. She says it's gonna be fine, but the math don't lie. The numbers are all there. All rooms need to be refurnished. Then we gotta multiply that by the cost of labor. And then there's a plumbing in the rooms upstairs. I swear, there are times when I just want to give up. I'm not 33 anymore. If we can make it all add up, maybe there's hope for the five of us. Very subtle. Okay. So this is, I'm pretty sure, the code to the safe. So all rooms, multiply that by the rooms upstairs. Times 33 and add 5. So let me write this down. All rooms times room upstairs times 33 plus 5. So that should equal a four-digit number. Hey, you think I'd look good in this one? <laughs> That's uh, her uh, wardrobe from the original game. Um, sure. Not quite the ringing endorsement, but hey, I'll take it. Let's go. All right, so we have 107 and 108 upstairs. So I don't know if it's the room numbers or the amount of rooms. So where's my phone? So all in all, we have eight rooms. So all rooms, so eight times rooms upstairs, two times 33 times five. So that equals 2,640. Let's see if that's a safe combination. So two, six, four, zero. No. I got that right. Oh, I'm an idiot. 
sorry. I multiply by five instead of adding by five. Okay, so if I mul if I add, add five, it just comes out to five thirty three. Maybe let's try zero five three three. There we go. Oh Jesus! Oh, fucking... <sighs> Jesus Christ. You think you just saved my life back there? That I did. Yeah. So am I. Oh, yeah. Okay. What is this? A key found in a safe in Jackson. Is there anything locked here? Oh, the gate. Doi. Uh, was there anything else in the safe? No. I did miss. You know, I'm surprised James doesn't ask questions like, do you live around here? Is it always this fucking foggy? Is it always this fucking empty? Um... You gonna say anything about this uh, mansion? Oh, it's open. She doesn't say anything. Um, I don't think this will really be spoilers of anything. Um, in the original, there was... Um, I don't want to say DLC, because there was no DLC at the time. Um, so the game originally came out for the PS2. Um, it eventually got ported to the uh, Xbox, the original Xbox. But if you bought the Xbox version, there was an expansion added to it. Um, it was, um, I think it was called Born from a Wish. And it was actually Maria's story, uh, before, right before she met, oh. Is everything all right? I, yeah, it's just, this place just gives me the creeps. I'm not sure why. You ever been inside? I... I'm not sure. It does feel familiar, somehow. Like... a bad memory. It's nothing, really. So, yeah. Uh, it has to do with Maria right before she meets James. It only lasts about an hour, two hours. Um, but I'm not going to say anything anything more than that. I'm wondering if they'll actually release a DLC content about so, that. James. Three years. That's a long time. What will you tell her if when you find her? That I love her. 
Oh, then. Lucky her. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing. Excuse me. Like I said, three years is a long time. You're not wrong. Um, but yeah, I was, as I was saying, uh, I'm wondering if they'll release DLC or if it's a mode that'll unlock once you finish the game. But again, I, I don't want to say too much because I feel like even just saying that is kind of potentially spoiling the story. In there. That is not a radio, that is a car, or at least a motor. That is a car. Okay. So we can't get through this way. Guess we'll have to go in from the back. Or we wait for a cutscene. Strange. This should not be here. Well, it is. So, what now? Now we look for another way. Okay, I was about to say, you're leaving your only weapon? It's fine, I much prefer the pipe anyway. It's a better weapon. Wow, there's a lot of them. I have no idea where I'm going.
What the fuck? Are you kidding me? respite Think we're safe? Well, it certainly died down. Keep door closed. Cleavage key, of course. Okay. And where are we? these days is going to be a fucking jump scare. Uh, wh where did you go? Um... Ready to kill it. Maria? Hello? Defenders Horizon and Trample Classics. Such classics. I guess uh, we have a good idea where we are now. Paradise. We are in a place called Heaven's Night.
<laughs> what? Oh, come on, don't give me that look. I was just kidding. What is this? Is this a special place you met? Don't be silly. Just have to go through and out the front. Then again, now that we're here, can't we stay just for a little while? Catch our breath before we head back out there? I don't have time to take a break. Mary could be out there waiting for me. I know. It's just this place, this whole thing, it's like a nightmare. I just wanted to get away from it, even for a second. I'm sorry. I... No, it's it's fine. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to. I guess this place is getting to me, too. Am I crazy? You know, for thinking she could be here. Crazy is one word for it, I guess. I can think of another. What's that? Hopeful. It's a nicer way of putting it. Here. What are you doing? Something to take the edge off. Who pours whiskey like that? No? You sure? Be that way. Here's two. To hope I'm dying. Ready when you are. Interesting. Um, so, lost and found. Okay. Um, this is actually the first cutscene we've had that was not in the original game. This was all new dialogue. Is that you? Would you like it to be? In fact, in the original game, when we when you go to heaven's night you barely even say anything you don't even have this kind of interaction you just literally go through it it's literally because the road was like broken you just cross through heaven's night Like, this is the most interaction I've had in Heaven's Night before. Any of us.
let me know when you want to move on. Um, do we check back here? No, we didn't. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, let's move on. Let's go. All right then. Come on. Don't strut your stuff while I'm behind you. Let's go. We could come back later if you want. You know, in case we need a break. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. <clears throat> Better than you say. I mean, any port in the storm, right? I guess so. Any port in the storm. There's a trash can blocking my way to that door. Alright, where am I? So we really took the long way around. This is interesting. That's freaky, like all that rumbling going on behind there. Okay, it's not far now. The place where uh, young people hang out. Again. I like how James doesn't even say anything. He just does it. But hey, we're getting shit. It's not like we're not. That was an open door for a second. Oh, so Cat Street is closed off here? Oh, yeah. Look, we're on the other side of that chasm. Some detour. But hey, at least we're here. Here meaning where, exactly? Come on, you'll find out. You could just tell me, you know. What is this weird thing? It looks like... Every time, like, the fog kind of... Yeah, what is that? It looks like corn or something. They're coming. Oh, there's a wall here. I didn't realize. Yeah, did you see that? That's so weird. Okay, where am I going? Oh, Moonlight Grove? Okay, let's go back then. Oh. Here? No. Here. Oh, my God. Should have let it load. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, there we go. This area is also completely new. 
A garden? There's a bit more to it than that. If you say so. I don't think I've been here before. Makes two of us. She's just around the corner. She? I can't run here. told around these parts kind of a local legend tells of a woman who was cast out sentenced to die on an island out on the lake there was a man in town who fell madly in love with her <laughs> and every night he would sneak out row across the lake bringing her food and company <laughs> and every night she would stand there on the shore holding a lit candle to help him find his way but this one night a terrible storm broke out caught him out in the open and it blew out the candle even in darkness the man would not give up he would not turn back so he fought against the raging waters until finally the lake took him. They say even then, the woman never lost hope. She kept coming out at night, kept lighting the candle to bring her beloved home, to lead him to shore. <laughs> Not sure how much truth there is to it. It's probably just a fairy tale. But she's become something of a local saint. A patron of undying love. Hence this place. She's not here. What? She's not here. And why would she be? I don't even remember this place. This was a mistake. I shouldn't have come here. Hey. It's okay. There's plenty of other places to look. We can still... Come on. That was an interesting story. Uh, original as well. I don't remember that from the original game. I think it came from inside the theater. Was that the entrance to the theater there? Hmm. Oh, climbing through there. You okay? Yeah. Maybe you better wait here. Okay. Not much of a movie fan anyway. And James? Yeah. Be careful in there. Yeah.
speak to it, sorry. Guts, fatso. Hey, but what do you have to say that for? Anyway, why are you sitting here? I thought you said the cops were after you. Nah, I don't think they follow me here. Besides, I blocked the door, so no one could get in. Not the cops, and not these other monsters. You're weird. Yeah, that's what everyone always says. Well, I guess people call me weird, too. And they yell at me, especially when I do something bad. Did you do something bad? You know, so the cops are angry with you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. So, why don't you just say you're sorry? It always works for me. They wouldn't listen. Nobody ever listens. So, this is also a little bit different. Non-existence coming soon. I was here. The void screams back. Artificial sky. Uh, I'm just going to check around first before I go in there. Nothing like bullets in a movie theater. More bullets. Ew. Okay. Toilets are clear. Looks like that's it. All right. out yet mm, yeah I just didn't get around to it yet well, at least you got your appetite back are you alone here Eddie Probably just Laura messing around. The little girl? Laura, is that her name? That's what she said. I'm gonna go look for her. You coming? Now you want me to come with you? I'm going to assume that's ice cream. Melted ice cream with that. Ugh. 
Oh yeah, strawberry. Who is that girl anyway? I don't know. All I know is her name. I swear. Uh, didn't you want to go after her? You want a spoon, bro? Better hurry. Laura can be pretty quick when she wants to. <laughs> Suit yourself. So, there was this um, similar dialogue exchange. Laura? A um, little bit different. But in the original game, it was in the Bolorama. There was no uh, movie theater in the original. So this is all similar yet different. What the fuck kind of movie projector is that? I've worked with movie projectors. I was a projectionist at one point. This is... I've never seen a projector look like this before. This is some... This is some NASA shit right here. Instead of just being like, hey, how about, like, look, can we just talk for a minute? I'm trying to reason with her, like, fuck. <sighs> I guess this is, uh, that's back where Eddie is. Sorry, I'm just looking around, guys. <laughs> Laura, stop! It's dangerous! Maria? Did you see the little girl? Yeah, I tried to stop her, but... She went that way. We can still catch her. You know, I want to see if I can head back to the Bolorama. I think this is like the only opportunity we'll have. Unle well, yeah, unless this. I guess we missed our opportunity before when we were just walking along Nathan before we got to the um, Jackson <coughs> yeah that's okay again look I'm getting fucking supplies bitch I don't see you helping So we're already at the uh, the hospital. 
I'm gonna be looking around first. Yes, I can't cross this. I cannot cross that. Again, it I, I'm seeing this cornfield just materialize in the fog and then just disappear. So weird. Okay, nothing in there. Wow, we got 115 bullets. We're gonna need it. Trust me. We haven't even really come across any bosses yet. And there are a couple. There are like a few bosses. Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's just, uh... Yeah. Let me just check the other side here. A little seating area. Let's go inside. Is that a gun cabinet? In a hospital? Yeah, but it's empty. Somehow that seems worse. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh, shotgun. Nice. Jesus woman, let's fucking scare the hell out of me like that. Due to repeated instances of keys getting misplaced from this point forward, they are to be returned to the locker at the end of every shift. All staff are required to memorize the padlock combination and are not to disclose it to anyone but authorized personnel under any circumstances. In case of any problems, report to the head nurse in examination room 3. Are you interested in a cup of tea? The director requested the files of three crucial patients. You know which ones. Could you please bring them to his office? No. Don't do it. Empty. Those son. Those sons of bitches.
Looks like there is a key in there. No combination, though. We should look around. It might be written down somewhere. Indeed. All right, but that is going to do it for this episode. Yeah. Uh, quite a lot happened, actually. Uh, you know, from meeting Maria to you know running through half of Silent Hill, uh, clearing up most of the outdoor area, and finally coming to the hospital. Um, this is one of the more memorable locations of the original game. And possibly the longest as well. I wouldn't be surprised if we were here for like a good two or three videos. Um, because yeah, in the original game, I believe it was the longest. Uh, it was the location you were the longest at. Um, not to really spoil anything, but a lot happens in the hospital. So, um, but yeah, Maria's quite a character, eh? Um, I'm interested to, to hear what you guys think of her. Um, again, I, I know the story. I know what's going on. I'm not going to say anything. She is played a little bit differently than the original. And again, I'll, I'll get into that at the very end. Um, but I'm curious as to newcomers, people who've never played the original, who don't know what it's about. What you guys think of Maria here? Um, I have my own, like, it's kind of hard to form my own, like, really unbiased thoughts on Maria. Um, but I'm wondering if you guys can figure out what she's all about. And actually, uh, I'm curious to think what you guys think of like all the characters so far. Eddie and Laura uh, as well. And even Angela. Um, we've, uh, we've come across some fairly colorful characters that uh, all seem to have a bit of baggage. And, uh, um, you know, all their stories will basically be revealed in time, obviously. But uh, your initial impressions, I'm curious to, uh, to hear what you guys uh, think of everything so far. Uh, one thing I will say, the next couple of videos, depending on what Bloober has done in terms of like expanding the hospital, it might be a little bit more exploration heavy, not a lot of uh, actual story going on. But uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, but again, I'm going to warn you that it's, it's going to be pretty exploration heavy. This was actually very, a fairly story heavy, uh, episode. A lot did happen. So yeah, it'll most likely be broken up by like two or three videos until we get through the hospital. But, um, yeah, that's, that's future selves problems. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think of, uh, of the playthrough so far. I'm having a blast. Um, it's, I may not be talking a lot, uh, at some points. Um, it's mainly just me kind of like, I don't want to say analyzing, just kind of, um, I, I I'm processing in my head how things are handled differently in this game. Cause Again, imagine there's a movie. Imagine like a Star Wars. Like if they remade the original trilogy. You know, if you guys if you guys are Star Wars fans, that you you know those movies like inside out, and they change stuff. Like they made a remake. You're gonna nitpick the shit out of it. It might be good. It might be terrible. But I'm again. I'm trying to keep an open mind with everything. Again, I'm loving the game. I'm loving the the. Um, uh, everything that Bloober has done so far. The ambience especially, mwah, fucking nailed it. Uh, even the monsters, like uh, every... All, all the monsters we've come across have been uh, done really, really well. 
Um, my only issue so far, the combat is kind of eh for me, but that's okay. These characters, I like them and I don't like them. And again, it's my own bias from the original. Um, again, I'm I'm rambling at this point. I apologize. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the video here uh, before I go off on a huge tangent. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.